सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर फाइव व्हिच इज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक टेक्निक्स दिस विल बी एज पर द सिलेबस ऑफ सावित्री बाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पैटर्न एंड दिस इज न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम द लास्ट दिस ईयर सो लेट अस सी वट आर दी राइट पॉइंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वन बाय वन वी आर गोइ वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी राइट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नाउ वॉट इज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन शॉर्ट इफ यू कैन सी दी बोल्ड लाइन्स इन दिस मॉलिक्यूल वेन इट इज एक्सपोज टू रेडिएशन्स सो इट द रेडिएशन्स कैन बी एनी टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन्स इट मे बी यू वी रेडिएशन इट मे बी आई आर रेडिएशन और इट मे बी एक्सरे गैमा रे और एनी थिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ रेडिएशन्स इफ अ मॉलिक्यूल इज एक्सपोज देन इट जस्ट रेस्पॉन्स इट गिव्स रेस्पॉन्स टू दैट पर्टिक्युलर रेडिएशन्स एंड दोज रेस्पॉन्सेस आर कैप्चर्ड एंड स्टडीड थरोली टू अंडरस्टैंड दी वॉट इज दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पर्टिक्युलर मॉलिक्यूल राइट एंड दिस इज वॉट इज दिस इज वॉट दिस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज now by definition if you see the spectroscopy is the study of responses of the molecule when it is exposed to certain kind of radiations so obviously we, uh, any molecule any chemical entity when it is exposed it is going to give some response it is just like taking an x ray right if you take an x ray of our body it it response the responses are recorded and we the bones are visible clearly that means the x ray is giving some information to you so similarly every uh, energy energy source any radiations if you bombard on molecule chemical then it is going to give some response and those responses the study of those responses is nothing but the spectroscopy now the spectroscopy is generally uh, two types one is absorption spectroscopy and second one, one is the emission spectroscopy now absorption spectroscopy right it gives an uh, it absorbs the whenever the energy is bombarded on a molecule it absorbs the energy and it the molecule the part of the molecule absorbs and it gets excited and it goes to the higher level and the amount of and uh, the amount and the type of wavelength of radiation absorbed by the molecule in order to reach the excited states it depends on the structural features of the molecule obviously right how much energy it absorbs and goes to the excited state that depends on the structure right some particular functional groups are present some uh, particular structures are present or some rings are present uh, these all going to cause some right it causes the molecule to give response in a particular manner so that is what the study of absorption that is what is called as absorption spectroscopy now when anything absorbs right by the molecule if any energy is absorbed by the molecule it is going to go at the excited state and by using uh, the excited state and all these parameters we can uh, get an idea about the structure therefore by studying the types of radiations absorbed it is possible to predict a kind of structural features uh, which are present in the molecule right we can predict about the structural features of the molecule for example if it uh, carbonyl is present we can just uh, see the structure absorption pattern and we can just judge the whether the absorption it is the carbonyl group is present right uh, oh group is there that we can study that absorption pattern and we can predict whether oh is there now generally the absorption is of different types right maybe uh, it is due to uv visible uh, light uv light visible uh, then infrared microwave radio wave right these are the, there are different types of radiations which can be used to excite a molecule so each type of radiation will give some uh, right different type of response from the molecule so by using that responses we can judge the structure of that particular molecule similarly emission spectroscopy also is there but as far as the this topic is concerned this emission spectroscopy is not that important so we will be mostly focusing on the absorption absorption spectroscopy now what is mean by emission right obviously whenever the radiations are emitted by a molecule it also gives some uh, information whenever the molecule goes to the excited state and comes back to ground state uh, during that time it is going to emit some ra radiations or emit some energy or heat so that can be studied 
to give uh, to uh, know what kind of structures are present what kind of structural features which are present in that particular molecule so this is a short introduction what is mean by spectroscopy right what there are two types of spectroscopy uh, when is uh, one is absorption spectroscopy one is the emission spectroscopy right we'll continue with the topic in the next video